Welcome to the TPC Desktop video series. In this video, we're going to take a look at site calibration, a feature that's new in TPC Desktop 2019. Um, I'm going to work on a, a project that I was asked to help with. This is uh, Wohink Lake, just south of Florence here. And uh, the water district was looking at tapping some new uh, main lines into the lake, bringing them out to the county road and then down to a processing facility. Uh, one of the locations we looked at was right here, uh, up this little bit drainage uh, next to where these lots are cleared uh, and then hitting the road. The other was uh, down here, uh, accessing the lake in this cove, again, coming up this drainage and accessing the county road out here. And I want to kind of walk you through the process of, of taking a look at this, this piece here. And you can see there's a little bit of a relief here, a little bit of, for that drainage there. Um, I'm going to bring up Traverse PC. We did surveys years ago um, out on some of these lots, and um, we had that file in what we'd call local site coordinates, ground coordinates. Uh, the, I think these start at zero, zero. But the Google Earth is at state plane or geodetic positions. So we need to put the two together, and we're going to do that with the site calibration. So I'm using this Google Earth planning project you could use any GPS or GNSS project and go through the same steps. So what I did, I got out some surveys and kind of picked up these three locations of where I thought lot corners would be inside Google Earth because I want to start with Google Earth positions. And I put those in this uh, folder here or this file called TL300KMZ. So let's go ahead and save that to our folder. And then let's, then let's go into Traverse PC and bring that in. So I'm going to tell Traverse PC I want to go to File, Import, and I'm going to browse to that file folder, pull in that file, and import it. Okay. Now, when I imported it, Traverse PC said, I'm going to go to the coordinate reference system that you've selected here. In this case, NEV83, and we're using the Oregon South. And I'm going to use this. Uh, projection information to generate plane coordinates out of those geodetic positions. So that's what Traverse PC has done, and those points have geodetic positions. Let's go ahead and open up that Traverse. And I'm just going to tell it how I want it to draw it here. And I can see then that I've got geodetic positions and state plane coordinates for those points. Now, I did something interesting in uh, Google Earth. I can do this with any data collector. I said this KML876 geodetic point is the same as number four. So the, the pound is just a character that says I'm, that creates a reference to point four. And point four here, it's this monument at the northwest corner of lot 300. I did the same for the monument at one and the same for the monument at two. And those are the three points I'm going to use then to calibrate the geodetic positions to my local site. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's choose Tools, Calibrate, Create Calibration. And I'm going to choose this middle option that says Select a Traverse of Uncalibrated Points with Calibrated Points as. They can be side shots or they can be in the description with whatever character you want to use. We don't care what you use. And that's the option I've chosen here. I'm going to select the Traverse that I've imported and choose OK. And Traverse PC is going to go ahead and create that calibration. So I'm going to call this Google Earth. I'm going to bring in the file name so I have a reference of where it came from. I'm going to tell Traverse PC that we're going to use the um, coordinate reference system as the system we're coming from. And I'm going to go to site. Now, you can type whatever you want in here. These pull downs just make it a little faster. And then I'm going to save this in the project folder as my Google Earth calibration. Call it whatever you want, just reference. And and I'm happy with these residuals. Remember, I'm just picking these off uh, Google Earth, so I actually got pretty lucky with these. And I can always come back later, occupy those monuments or other monuments, and recreate a better, more precise calibration. But this is good enough for what I want to do right now. OK. Now. <laughs> If I were to go ahead and plot these points that I just created a calibration for, um, I'm going to get this. Here's 
my local site coordinates at zero zero. Here are my state plane coordinates um, at million plus kind of thing. Well, I don't want to mess with. I want to put everything on the same site, and I do that then through the site calibration. So I'm going to go back to the survey information. I'm going to bring up the site calibration tab. And I'm going to tell Traverse PC, I want to go in and get that calibration I just created. So here's that Google Earth calibration. Make sure it can bring it in OK. Yeah, there we go. And here's all the information I just put in about it. And then I'm simply going to say calibrate points. OK, as soon as I do that, Traverse PC now is able to come in and replot those points uh, where they belong in the local site. So I'm going to zoom in here. And you see in green how it's plotted these right over the top of the uh, monuments. So the site calibration then has given these geodetic positions local site coordinates. And in fact, that's what I'm looking at in the tooltip. The uh, Y, X, and Z values there are local site coordinates. But right beneath them are the uh, geodetic positions. So these calibrated points no longer have state plane coordinates, they have local site coordinates. Now the great thing about creating a site calibration is that I can go both ways with this. So I'm going to select these boundary uh, traverses. I'm going to go into Tools or File, Export, and I'm going to tell Traverse PC, I'll drag this over here for you, that I want to export those three selected traverses as KMZ. And I'm going to call these uh, South Devonshore Lots, KMZ. And let's export that. So we've written those three traverses out. Now let's go into Google Earth, and let's open those up. So open. Here's our lots. Bring those in. Uh, Traverse PC brings those in. Look what I've got now. I've got those lot lines plotted in relationship to these corners that I brought in from Google Earth and based on the calibration between those corners and my local site. So I've got everything in pretty good position here and I can see that the boundary is way back down here in this drainage. So the common area is just east of that. Okay, So that's the area I'm going to be looking at for the access. And then in this particular uh, planning process, we needed to identify where these houses were and we may need to some topography in here to identify these breaks. We may need to locate some drain fields. So I want to get just some preliminary information back over in Traverse PC. And I want to show you what I did. I went ahead and said, OK, I'm going to trace out about where I see this break on Google Earth. And I'm going to do the same for those houses. Just trace them out with a polygon real quick. And let's send this back to Traverse PC based on that same site calibration. So I've got those in a subfolder called Export Features. Let's save that back. We're going to call that Export Features. Let's go back to Traverse PC now and just simply bring that in. So we're going to File, Import. Let's go ahead and find that file, Export Features, and import it. Now, because I've calibrated the site, Watch what happens when I tag these traverses. Here's my east break. Here's the house on lot 500, the house on lot 300, and the house on lot 400. So that's kind of the magic of site calibrations, is that it's created the association between the geodetic positions from Google Earth and my local survey, local site coordinates. And I can go back and forth between Google Earth and Traverse PC, and the site calibration takes care of all the transformations necessary to put me in either coordinate system. And, and now I'm ready to finish this preliminary design or some layout information, turn that into the city, and um, if they go with this location, we'll be back out there with GPS, tie these things down a little bit better, and away we go. But what did I spend? You know, less than 10 minutes uh, doing the narrative for the video, probably half that time if I wasn't doing all the talking. Um, and Traverse PC made this super simple for me. Now, I'm using a Google Earth example here, but remember, this can be any kind of a static or dynamic GPS uh, with any kind of data collector you want. Create the calibration, use it as a site calibration, 
and now you've got your GPS data working seamlessly with your site, local site coordinates, if that's how you want to do your surveying. Okay, uh, site calibration, new in TPC Desktop 2019.